there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd, and today I want to share with you a trick I have for getting rid of massive aphid infestations on your winter greens. As the weather warms up in warm winter climates, which is happening right now here in Los Angeles, the kale is kind of reaching the end of its days, and the aphids can sense that and they move in. And so you'll find aphid infestations in the tender new growth at the kind of center and on the undersides of leaves. And I have this three-step process that gets rid of aphid infestations and gives you another few you know, weeks to several months out of those same plants in well-established soil. So, let me tell you about that. But first, a quick announcement. Two things, actually. My new novel, Garden Variety, hits bookstore shelves on February 1st. I'm very excited about that. It's set in a community garden in Los Angeles, and if you are into garden fiction, you will like this book. Second of all, the tip I'm going to share with you today comes from my upcoming online pest control course called Creating a Healthy Garden. If you haven't yet gotten on the waiting list for that, Go to the link in the description below and be sure to get on the list. You'll find out more details and pricing when the time comes. Okay, now let's talk about this trick, this three-step trick. The first thing is, you know, aphids show up when the plants are weak, so you want to fortify the soil. So the first thing I do is put down a layer of worm castings. That's number one, because as I've mentioned many times before, worm castings contain an enzyme called chitinase, and when the plant takes it up, it goes out into the leaves and it helps ward off sucking insects like aphids, mealybug, whitefly, and others. The second thing I do is remove all the leaves on the plant except for maybe the base three to four leaves, the tiniest leaves. Because once you remove the food source, the aphids have nothing to eat, so they'll move on. And the third thing to do is to get out your hose and hose nozzle and set it on jet or kill, as I like to call it. Fair warning, you're gonna get wet. It just happens. Try as you might, so maybe, you know, put on a layer that you don't care about before you get out the hose nozzle and start jet blasting off those leaves. You can see if you just hold the leaf and just put on the spray, you'll blow those aphids off. And not only are you blowing them off the plant, but you're actually ripping off their mouth parts because their piercing uh, mouth parts are penetrating the leaf. So they're not gonna come back. And if you repeat this every day for five to seven days, your aphids will be gone and then those plants can start to regrow, especially because you gave them some worm castings, which is also a fertilizer. So those three steps will give your kale and Swiss chard plants and other not so tender greens a renewed sense of life and they will start to regrow in your garden for a little bit longer. If you like this tip, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to find out when our next video comes online. You'll find tons more information uh, about pest control and all kinds of things about growing your own food at GardenNerd.com. Consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. And of course, check out my books, Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden and Gardening for Geeks, and the new novel, Garden Variety. Happy gardening.